Yo, what's going on guys? Koi here. Today we're going to be talking about Jujutsu Kaisen Phantom Parade. And with this game coming out, finally, global launches finally come out. Uh, this game was very popping in the East, and now it's finally come to America and everywhere else across the world. And, of course, in certain countries, of course, right now, it's just like, with stuff that's going on, these games don't really make it in certain countries right now, so it's like, it does suck. But, you know, we do hope with time that, you know, a lot of these mobile games do reach out to other, uh, you know, countries and stuff like that. But, you know, they uh, if you want to know if this, if this one is a part of your country, just, uh, you know, don't forget to pre-register on their website. We will be visiting the website right now. I just wanted to talk about the actual release date, which they've put out right here. So... Uh, the actual like official page and all that stuff pretty much straight up said, yo, we're set for global release on November 7th, which is pretty huge. Honestly, I do like that. Uh, November 7th is just the perfect time for some brand new content after this crazy month of October. I think that they chose a really good date. And, you know, now we just got to see what they come out with next, because this is not just a normal release. This is one of those releases where we do get some of the information about the game's release and stuff like that. I don't know if they're going to be doing a uh, a release with the game already the way it is, but uh, or they're going to do like a kind of like a pre-made release, kind of like what they did with Black Clover Online. But most likely, they're just going to do like Global is going to be its own server, then the East is going to be its own server, just kind of like how it's always been for like a lot of these games, especially if they have stuff like uh, you know. Uh, PvP leaderboards and stuff like that. Obviously, you want to only be able to compete with people within your region, which is why, you know, this is why it is the way it is. So we are going to check out the rewards. They do have like a pre-registration. And if you guys want to add to the pre-registration, this is kind of the main month to just kind of go crazy on that. So if you guys have not done that yet, y'all could add on to the rewards and stuff like that. They did just release a gotcha event a playable event for players to actually get a taste of what the gotcha is going to feel like within the game rates and all so i think that this is the perfect way to actually get started on it and really take a look at what's going on in the inside and really uh get a good look at what the first banners are probably going to look like and stuff like that at least for like the rates and everything else like that because i know a lot of people have been waiting and waiting and waiting for jujitsu kaisen to finally come out with their own game and stuff like that now that we do got an official game with uh you know ran by obviously billy billy and stuff like that now we actually get a taste of a real jujitsu kaisen mobile game for the first time obviously sometimes you know sometimes it's not the craziest sometimes it is really cool but with this one it was kind of like uh it had mixed reviews off rip because of the uh obviously because of the art style and stuff like that but i think it gives off that real persona vibe that people are totally interested in hence why like a lot of people are kind of interested in that type of gameplay at least turn-based gameplay uh obviously you probably will be able to just use auto if you are that kind of guy uh but personally speaking i love gotchas i love turn-based and as you can see right here uh this is probably the prime example of what we will be looking at which is basic attacks uh energy based attacks and then ultimates which is pretty cool so uh, you know, with this being the case, I think it's going to be very interesting. As you can see, they have an auto up here, especially building specialty teams and stuff like that. I really am interested in how the gotcha is going to work and stuff, especially for global, because sometimes they do change some things depending because obviously the Chinese version of the game is going to be completely different than most versions of the game in our countries because... Uh, and especially for the UK and stuff like that, even if it's available in the UK, because they, everyone's got their own laws. So we'll just have to see what's up. Let's go ahead and take a look at what they got going on over here, though. I am really interested in this pre-draw event and really like interested in what they kind of got going on here. As you can see, they got the early gotcha event. Uh, do they have the news sector over here? Yeah, the official website for Jujutsu Kaisen Phantom Parade. Let's see. They have the pre-registrations right here, the official website pre-registration, the Google pre-registrations, all that fun stuff. Uh, they have different little challenge events. They have their trailer and stuff like that. I wonder if this is going to be the the new trailer, or is this just the 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 
just an interesting like sneak peek that we already saw. No? Okay, so here we go. If you're a Jujutsu Kaisen fan, especially since the manga is literally coming to a close, this is just going to be one of those games to like really enjoy before the next installment of the manga series does commence. Because then you could really get like, uh, they're probably going to go all the way with this game. Let's be honest now. They they probably are going to go all the way with this game, obviously, because a lot of the big baddies are, there's only a very select few of them. So I wouldn't even say that there's like, like a major, major amount. Okay, so we got some more stuff over here. Looks like cubes are going to be their summoning currency, which is very, very cool. We have 2,000 cubes, 1,000 cubes, another 1,000 cubes, and another 500 cubes. So that's a total of uh, freaking 4,500 cubes. And we're probably going to expect those last 3,000. Definitely, especially since they are starting their brand new uh, ad campaign, we're probably going to see everyone get to the 10 million and get that redrawable SSR Select guaranteed ticket. I really do think that that's going to happen because JJK, JJK is such a good freaking anime and it's so big. Uh, it's such a big franchise for how small the anime actually is. It's just going to be absolutely insane. Uh, let's see. We are going to go ahead and go into the... Uh, oh, yeah. We should probably go into the gotcha thing. I think these are the characters that they... Uh, no, these are just character bios. Oh, no. These are playable characters. Characters in the story. Okay, so these are characters in the story as of this moment. And these are characters that are playable. Oh, they have a pretty big playable roster already. Obviously, we have to have a Gojo. We have Blindfold Gojo. We have a lot of the Class 1 students. We have a lot of the... Oh, we have the principal here, too. That's pretty crazy. Uh, we have the nurse. Uh, let's see. No, it's very interesting. I, I know a lot of people are going to be like, Nanami, Yuji... Obviously, freaking, uh, I would prefer Toto. I feel like Toto is going to be very interesting in this game. I don't know. Everyone's going to be like, but Maharaga. And it's like, no, I don't think this is the Maharaga, like, Megumi that we are thinking of. I think this is, like, just normal Megumi with, like, you know, he's pulling out the hands. But by the time he does that, he's probably going to die, uh, which I don't need on my team. All right. So, yeah, let's get down to it. So let's go ahead and go back real quick to the uh, other part where we start the early gotcha thing. Oh, man, I got to do this pre-registration deal. All right. Uh, man. Uh, give me a moment. I have to do this pre-register thing, and then I'll uh, come back to you guys. All right. So now we are, can actually access everything, including the event rules. Phantom Parade Early Gotcha web event has begun. Participating event has a chance to earn up to an SSR character, SSR relocation bits, and 1,000 cubes. Uh, let's see. Event period starts from the 17th to the November 20th. So this still extends all the way into the release of the game. Uh, reward claim period from the official launch of the 7th to even after the 7th, so you could still do this after the launch of the game. Uh, during this event, players can do gotcha times by logging in by the, to the daily page, completing daily tasks, and participating in limited time events. Phantom Parade Early Gotcha. Uh, each time you use uh, a gotcha chance, you will randomly receive a character, relocating bits, or an item. Ways to obtain chances. Uh, if who are players who pre-register for the game on the official website will receive 10 gotcha times. So uh, you have to pre-register on the official website. So not the not the pre-registration through um, mobile. So do pay attention to that bit. Uh, players who log into the page uh, daily during the event will receive go one gotcha time. Note automatically granted after logging into the daily page. Today's task, complete the uh, each task and receive one gotcha time. Completing tasks will give you the claim button, yada, yada, yada. Daily tasks reset every day. Uh, let's see. Players can earn gotcha times by participating in limited time events. Okay. The Global Black Flash Challenge. We will have to take a look at that. Okay. So this just tells you where you can claim all the stuff. And the probabilities. Okay, here are the probabilities. 2.5% is very generous for an SSR character. 
That's actually very, very generous SSR character rates. Ooh, that actually... This game might be peak. Uh, let's see. Of course, if you're not eligible to, uh, you know, co participate, you're not going to be able to get any of this. Just don't vi violate any rules. You should be good. All right, let's get started. All right. Today's tasks. Pre-register on the official website. I already did. Uh, at least I think I did. Did I? Oh, no, I already did. Yeah, see? So, does that mean this part's irrelevant? Uh, view inviting events. Participate in the Black Flash event one time. Oh, this is an interesting bit. All right. Unleash 100 million black flashes to receive a cube uh, upon the launch of the game. How the crap do you do that? Share to participate. Whoa. Yeah, let's not do that. Copyright, you know what I mean? All right, head to challenge. All right, next. Perfection. All right. Okay. Black flash strike. Press and hold. Oh, you're supposed to press and hold till you get the black flash. Challenge again. Try to participate. Okay, I'll do that later then. Yeah, that's dope. So you just like you try to hit the black flash. And everyone kind of has to pitch in and do the black flashes. That's pretty cool. I like that. All right. So that's the three tasks. Yeah. My backpack. All right. So let's kind of get to it. Gotcha times one. Uh, let's see. Let's get, go ahead and reset real quick. Because I believe I have reset and done all of these tasks. Claim. Uh, I, have, I have gotten to the official website. But I have to... Do I have to actually, like, redo it? I might have to. Official website pre-registration. Congratulations, pre-registration successful. Okay, so that might have did it. All right, let's see. Yes, it did. All right, view the inviting event one time. Which we did check, we did take a look at. Bind invitation code. My invitation code. Uh, please enter your team's invitation code. Oh, I guess I'll just uh, send out this code. Oh, okay, cool. I guess I'll uh, I'll send it to you guys then. All right, so that's that. Now, if I do this one more time. And that should do that. Yeah. Okay, now I just log in tomorrow, same time. All right, let's do it. Ten pull. Okay. Kind of lackluster, but I guess it's because this is the website. This is not like, uh, you know. Let's get a UG. Can we get a UG? Ah, darn. Lots of cubes, though. Yep. Lots and lots of cubes. Probability is 2.5%, though. Uh, let's see. Gojo is actually in here. The strongest Gojo is in here. So you can get Gojo. And then there's a lot of SR characters, obviously. Cool. All right. Well, that does it for that. Then my backpack pretty much is just filled with just cubes. Okay, so I guess I grab these cubes and I stuff them in the... There? Add to backpack? Remove from backpack. Okay, so you just keep claiming stuff, and then whatever you get last, you put them in here. So you put your character in here, you put your relocation bits in here, and you put your items in here. 
and whatever three you come out with at the end is the rewards that you get. Very, very cool. Honestly, I do love that because that gives you a chance of getting the character before the release, which is absolutely insane. Uh, or even during the release, even if you think that maybe you could get a shot at it all the way until the 20th, you could still do it. That's pretty crazy. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell down below. I will see you guys later. Take it easy and peace out.